Well, hello again, it's Lee Kreider here, producer of the High Ram Show with show number, oh, I think it's going to be 271. Our guest today is going to be Robert Baldino in Arizona. Want to make sure that you check the show notes, and you'll find those right below the video here if you're watching on the HighRamShow.com website. And if you're watching on YouTube, there'll be a link there to the website. If you'd like to see us full screen, just click on that. Little, just put your cap down there and, that, and a little box will appear that you can go full screen. And a reminder that this is a show is produced by the uh, time stations here in Ohio that are staffed. Time station 41 in Oxford, 42 in Blanchester, 43 in Chillicothe. And we get closer to the race. We'll say a lot more about those time stations. But that's enough of me. Let's go out to um, Arizona and Robert Baldina. Robert, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's um, a nice day here in Arizona. It's supposed to be a high of almost 70. Well, Robert, um, I have to apologize to you. I've thought for a long time we ought to get you on the show. And uh, it just seemed like uh, it never really cropped up, but now's the day. So <laughs> welcome to the Ohio Ram Show, Robert. Uh, uh, thank you. I appreciate the uh, help. Well, Robert, you've been around the, uh, the uh, sun a few times in your life, uh, like I have. Tell me a little bit about uh, how you got into cycling and uh, ultra cycling and uh, some of the things you've done there so people get better acquainted with you. Well, I, uh, in 2001, I lost, uh, lost my wife of, uh, 27 years. And, uh, one of the, uh, uh, therapists I was going to a grief counselor suggested that I take up or renew my interest in two things I really like to do. And one was cycling, which I hadn't done that much of. Uh, some, but not as much as I do now, and painting and drawing. Because as a retired architect now, I like to keep my hand in by painting. So in 2004, I did my first century uh, in Solvay. And I, after that, it was like, okay, I've done 100. So now let's do something else. So I did a whole series of 200s in California. And I did 200s, and I said, okay, what's next? So in 2006, I did my uh, first team ram with some friends I met online. We had never uh, met each other, and uh, we sort of all flew in from all over the country, and we did our first ram. And uh, being all rookies, I was some kind of surprised that we actually finished. So after that, I just it, my cycling took off, and I just started doing – five or six, uh, events every year, you know, I've done, uh, Ram and then raw and then furnace Creek 508 silver state, um, uh, you name it. I've done pretty much everything. Uh, this would be my 16th year of ultra cycling. Then we did, uh, I did Ram in 2006 again, four person and then, uh, 2011 four person, but, uh, as you may remember, that was a year that it was hit by a semi and almost killed. So I was off the bike for almost two years because of that. Um, that was pretty horrific. And then uh, I sort of came back in 2015 with a four-person team after um, after the accident. And uh, we won the 60-plus category, men category for Rams. So... Uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty traumatic, the whole thing. And I was really surprised that I was able to get back into it. And uh, I, I ride now about eight to 10,000 miles every year. Yeah, I, I, I'm doing a lot of riding now with the Semper Fi Fund. Uh, I did a tour of Tucson this year and rode with, uh, we had about uh, 20 of us that rode together for the Semper Fi Fund. And uh, I'm going to do that again uh, this year and uh, and during Raw this year. We're going to ride uh, supporting uh, Semper Fi Fund, and I'm, I'm going to set up a website for donations. None of the money will go to us. It will go straight to uh, Semper Fi Fund. There will be in the show notes a link to the, that group 
so you can uh, learn more about them and maybe even give a little donation there. Uh, is that the same organization that the Gooths are part of, Robert? Uh, it is, yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Very good. I know it from them. So yeah, in fact, uh, they're uh, they're uh, in North Carolina, which uh, is where I was stationed uh, in 1965 uh, in uh, Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. I believe their daughter is a marine in the Marines over there. I, and I think her husband is as well. Yes, uh, I believe so. That's right. Yes. Yeah, I think both, uh, as I recall, I know they're very uh, keen about uh, that uh, program. And uh, again, if in the show notes, you should find some information about them. So in 2020, you're going to do a two-person RAW team. Is that correct? That's right. That's uh, one of the events I'm doing this year. Uh, out of the five, I'm going to do this year. And you had to do a little shopping around to, to get that together, didn't you? Uh, yeah, actually, I was trying to uh, find a, a four-person uh, RAM team again because I like to do at least one more RAM, I've, the team RAM. I've done four, and I'd like to do one more. And uh, and then this friend of mine contacted me um, and asked if I wanted to join him for uh, Raw. So I said, sure. And I'll be going to Texas uh, at the end of March, and I'm doing the Ram Challenge 200 uh, in okay. Texas. And then uh, I'm putting together a disabled veterans team, four-person team again for the Silver State 508 in September. And, of course, I'll be doing the World Time Trial Championships again uh, this year, which will be my eighth consecutive uh, time. I've won. Uh, I've won my seventy plus division four times now. Very good. You keep yourself. You keep yourself busy, don't you? I well, I try. You know, I'm retired, and uh, you know, my wife usually has a pretty good, t you know, list for me to do. And you know, uh, being a retired architect, uh, we bought a house that needed some work, so I do a lot of uh, remodeling. I just built a shop off the back of the house here because uh, I do a lot of woodworking and uh, yeah, I, I don't let any uh, moss grow on me. That's for sure. Well, that's a good thing. I've found out myself that um, you got to stay active or you, you start uh, talking to yourself. Well, actually I talk to myself anyhow, but uh... <laughs> so do I. So do I. <laughs> well, you know, I've had I've had some health issues, um, you know, high blood pressure, and uh, a couple of other things where my writing that it was another reason I really started pushing the uh, uh, the, the amount of writing I do. I'm a type two diabetic, so all the re writing really helps keep you know keep all that under control, and. Uh, <laughs> My only problem now is I'm still suffering from, you know, the accident when the truck hit me, it injured my back. I, I fractured uh, three vertebrae in my lower back. And it, it, it bothers me a lot when I do really long distance. And I had hoped to do a solo ram uh, before 2011, but after the, the truck accident, I can't. I can't see myself staying on the bike for that long, but you know, it just, my back wouldn't be able to handle it. Well, you heard it here, folks. Uh, Robert is looking for a four person team to do Ram, uh, maybe next year or sometime. So if you're interested, uh, get a hold of Robert Baldino. I'd like to do a 70 plus. I kind of have a identity with old guys, Robert. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Well, I'm, I'm hoping I can keep doing this until I'm at least 80. We'll see. Well, I, I don't see why not. I managed to make it till 80 and uh, before I had to hang everything up. So Yeah, there are definitely uh, some days that I'd like to push myself a little further, but I decide, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, well, you got to rest in between, too. Hey, Robert, it's good to talk to you. Well, thanks, Lee. I really appreciate it. And I hope you take care of yourself. I'm trying to, and I've got some new challenges, but we're working with them. We wish you well on Raw. Be safe out there. Stay away from those semis. 
Yeah, really. Yeah. I, uh, every, every time I go cycling now, uh, my wife tells me, don't get hit by a truck. Well, listen, it's good to talk to you and good luck on Raw. Thanks, Lee. Have a great day, man.